most of the stuff that's advertised on television, nobody needs. You've heard me do my rep on ads, haven't you? You know, where I, I go on and say, uh, you know, the guy takes the can of beer. He's camping out and he's by the stream of water and the fire's burning and he's with he, he pulls off the tab and he says, you know, guys, it doesn't get any better than this. And I tell the students, what is being sold here? A can of beer? Or are they trying to convince you that, that friendship and this, this sense of peace and well-being is being sold? Nobody needs the beer, but you do need this kind of sense of well-being and friendship. Uh, I always like to um, make fun of the most famous ad that's ever been produced, you know, the Coca-Cola ad, you know, where they're on top of a mountain. And they're from every nation of the face of the earth. They're in their native costumes. It's the day of Pentecost. They're all holding hands. Go on and teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. And you're saying, perfect harmony. What is creating perfect harmony? The Holy Spirit? The <laughs> fellowship of the church? What is, go on and teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. And then they tell you what's going to create perfect harmony for broken humanity. Coca-Cola. And just when you're ready to say, this isn't okay. real, the voice comes in and says, it's the real thing. Yeah. You know, and you be, realize that we're being manipulated subconsciously into believing that these s things that the culture is selling us is going to meet the deepest spiritual hungers of our ne lives for, for peace and well-being, for friendship, for something to believe in, for, for, for harmony, for broken humanity. No wonder the Bible says, why do you spend your money for that which satisfieth not. We're not asking that you shouldn't spend money. We're going to ask, are the things you're spending your money on simply going to satisfy you? Because here we are in America, the richest nation on the face of the earth. People are buying and buying and buying. It used to be, if you go to Europe, the cathedral dominated the landscape. Life was centered around the cathedral. Now it's centered around the shopping center. And that is the new cathedral of our lives. And we go on Friday nights and Saturday nights and just wander up and down the, and buy stuff that nobody needs. And one has to ask, what's this doing to us? Mm.